Hello and welcome back to this beautiful castle that is the Good Night Park. Even though it's not good, well, it's not night over here, <laughs> though it might be good. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is our park, and it's looking rather good. We still have a very intact castle, and to boot, we even have, and you can't even see it, except for this little red line over here, we have an underground mini golf. How cool is that? I don't think many castles can say that they have that, but we have. So, um, with that, what we haven't checked is how good this underground, the children's playground actually is. Not bad, not bad. I think for as far as miniature golfs go, and this is probably on the upper end of the ratings. Not really sure. I don't build them that often, but, uh, well, except for in that desert where I went a little bit overboard with them. But, uh, yeah, I think we're doing quite well with uh, this one. Now, as it stands, we currently have 5,000 game euro bucks, and we're making a lot more. So I think that we're more than... Whoa... Handy dude, you got a job to do over here. Clean, clean and do it fast. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think that we're in a much better spot to uh, actually get ourselves another coaster, which is uh, the thing that is on the agenda. So far though, let us do a quick and thorough check on whether or not we have any vandalism. And with this area over here, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody got upset about it. Though, having said that, um, it seems like our pixel guests don't mind if there's a little bit of vomit here and there. <laughs> I guess with all our... Uh, wait, 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 wait. We got it. Yes. Yep. Spot it right there. <laughs> it might have been there, you know, the previous time we checked as well. I don't know. It does mean, however, that it is time that we hire ourselves a new guard. And what better place to hire him than right there, where the very first case of vandalism was ever spotted in our park. Right. Okay, so that's taken care of. Um, for the rest, how is the pricing? Does that need adjusting anywhere? As far as I can tell, not really. Mm, let me see. No, not really indeed. It seems that everything is still running a, well, a reasonable profit. Oh, wait, no, the ball. The ball needs, yeah, the ball needs its pricing adjusted down, which is actually, it's surprising how poor it has performed. I mean, usually it racks up like 3,000 before it starts to drop, but the Shadow Ball of a Shy just isn't doing it. We'll leave it at one buck. Well, actually, we can leave it at one buck because my re one buck fifty. My reasoning being that we don't really want the guests to go away that quickly anymore. We want them to stay in the park, so... Yeah, we shouldn't make things too expensive for them. Uh, on the other hand, I mean, <laughs> it's not like we won't gain the 1200 mark uh, over here with our guest. Uh, let's be honest, you know, we will definitely get that. Now, you might be wondering, what are we looking at right now? And of course, uh, those who know what's going to happen will know that we're going to build the coaster right over here, right next to the Blackfire Uprising. Yes, and we are going to build the coaster, and it's going to be the exact same type of the one that we already have over there. So, uh, let us get started with building that. Uh, we shall go into underground view mode. And first of all, uh, let us just line up this beast to where it's supposed to be, right over there. Then we shall build the station platform till there. And then we will remove the tracks leading up to the station. Right. Can I fit? Yes, of course I can. And of course we can do that too. Now, I know that it's grey at the moment and we are going to change it. So, uh, what? Is a Virginia real in the way? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Have I built it right be... <laughs> 
Hey, biggest derp moment ever. <laughs> I have actually built it right below <laughs> the other coaster. I wasn't looking at the height numbers and I was like, wow, <laughs> you know, lined up perfectly. <laughs> Turns out <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, about that, huh? Let's not mention that ever again, shall we? Now, can I still fit this? Ooh. Now it's gonna start throwing up issues. That should do it, I believe. Yeah, it does. Right. That should do it for that one as well. Right, okay, so at least the entrance is in the right spot. The exit, not so much. Which isn't really that great for uh, station brake failures. But we should be alright. And the moment we do this, it should poke its head up. There, nice. Right, uh, I think that it's also time that we enable the supports, and then, how about, I mean, there's two things we can do, or we mirror it, but we won't be able to go as high, I think, or we try and follow it. Following it also seems to be a pretty solid idea in my in mind. You know what, that's what we're gonna do, instead of mirroring this one, we're going to try and follow it. So, following it shouldn't be that hard either. I think currently we've... Oh, yeah, also, let's lift it. You know, that might also help. Uh, I think that this is where we want to be. No, because of terrain limitations. So we'll have to pull it back one before. That's all right, though. Nothing too bad so far. Then, can I get away doing this? Because, actually, I wouldn't mind having a big drop in here. Oh. It seems I cannot get away doing that. But if we lower it one more to height 16, now we should be able to get away doing that. Uh, yes, straight, and then... Choop! <laughs> there we are! <laughs> Simple as that! But I do want a big drop for this coaster, of course, so... We... Kind of are... Obliged to... Hold on, let us plan this out a little bit, because currently we are over here. What we could do is have this turn... Turn around? And then go up straight away. And uh, we should be able to clear the uh, Blackfire Uprising. Go up and then possibly drop down and then have a big... Oh man, th th there ain't gonna be a big drop over here. That ain't happening. Where is the big drop gonna happen? What we could do is have it go up, curve around and then have a big drop. That leads all the way down to over here. Then have it go up a little. Yeah, I think that's the best option. No, I want to curve, and then we go up. Yes. Look, like this. And this is more of what I had in mind. Oh, and then it starts complaining again about height issues. Right, but we are at height 24 right now, though. Which isn't shabby. So, if we then go round... We should theoretically be able to get ourselves a pretty decent big drop. It just, it just goes over there, you know. It's not like we have a big uh, mar room and margin for error, but I think that this is pretty solid, actually. Also, we don't want to be going out too far, because that will be costly. Now for the rest of the coaster. We come from height 21. I don't think it's such a bad idea to go up a little bit higher and then just do the regular uh, drop and turn thing that this coaster usually does. I think we want to drop and turn over here mostly, like cover this stretch for the most part. And then in the end, you know, our final like go in the ground point should be either over here or somewhere over here. And then we'll just return it to the station. No fancy shenanigans. I think that's the best course of action we can take for this one. So, at height 17, 
we shall drop it once and then do said shenanigans. Uh, can we? Yeah, we can. Of course we can. Uh, right. Um, now we are at height 13. So we can't really go everywhere anymore, but what we can do is this. And I'm looking at our money currently and I'm thinking like, all right, you know, maybe we shouldn't do too many more of these extravagant curves around and whatnot. Uh, perhaps it's best if we act actively start making our way back towards the station. Yeah. Can I? No. That's, however, we can if we do it like that. Right, let me just remove them supports for a moment here. I think we want to be one more backwards. Uh, and then we probably... Yeah, now that should, that should wait. And then straight. Yeah, and, and now I'm looking at our money and I'm like, hmm, you know. <laughs> I, I guess what we want right now is for this thing to just go back to the station ASAP. So that's what we're going to be aiming for right now. Let me see. Right, what is the station's height? Oh, that was height 8. So, currently, we shouldn't even... Oh yeah, so, alright. So, that's just to get us uh, where we need to be. Also, <laughs> I'd like to see the tracks I build. And then... Oh, you're, you're gonna complain. Alright. And then you're still gonna complain. Right. It's actually not alright, but it is what it is. And back. Alright, that ain't looking so shabby. Why don't you guys watch the test ride for me, whilst I go and worry myself with the ever so difficult task of getting this hooked up somewhere. Some... Come on. I know you wanna be right on the exit. That... That... It's... Come on, game. Don't, don't do this to me. Oh, I, I, yeah. I mean, wow, that, that was anything but easy, really. Also, we seem to be in a bad spot for having this go up. It's not like it's undoable, but... How's the terrain looking over here? Well, we might want to consider... It's just going up like that. And then, if we turn off the underground view... All we would really need to do is just this, and that would hook it up. That's actually a pretty elegant uh, exit path, you know? That's nothing to be ashamed of. So, that's looking good. Then... Alright. Now, this is far more tricky. Trick Z. Uh... So far, this will work, but now we need to get this up anywhere. In particular, it just needs to go up. However, so far the, the going up part is handled, and the hooking up part is handled as well. Well, who would have guessed? You know, it would be that easy. Also, uh, it seems that our cars have already made, like, the second running of this. Oh, man, I didn't knew that. <laughs> it, it took me that long, <laughs> really. I thought I had uh, already, uh, you know, that we were still on the first run. I thought I was pretty quick on the whole building queues and exit paths. But, <laughs> turns out the coast is even quicker. I don't mind that, though, of course. But Now, uh, as for setting it up. What are the ratings? Because, of course, I want to know. Oh, and by the way, eggheads, you can by now stop with this and go back to giving me thrill rides. 
Because I think that we've gotten quite a few. We got seafood, we got popcorn, and we got souvenir. Just the thing we want. We're gonna build those in a moment, but uh, for now uh, we will uh, we will set up this coaster. So as for a name, huh? Uh, well, first uh, let's get the settings sorted. Uh, I don't. Oh, and the ratings. Ooh, a seven point seventy four. Not bad. Not bad. Seven point thirty five. Those will go up pretty well. Now, as for the price, we will keep this at five bucks. I don't really want to make things too much more expensive. I feel like, in terms of cash flow, we're in a good position. Also, without the terrain, I mean, this just looks like a mess. <laughs> it looks like a mess. <laughs> we have a wooden jungle over here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> An absolute wooden jungle. <laughs> Now, as far as the name goes, I already have the name over here. Uh, it is uh, the Targaryen, Targaryen Loyalists. Yes, there, the Targaryen Loyalist. That's the name for this ghost. Eh? Fits very well with the Blackfire Uprising, of course. I mean, um, I don't think this should have come as a surprise for those of you who have read the novels. Ooh. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I guess this is what we should go with, and then a pretty dark red uh, line with a bright red track. Do I like this? That is the question. Hmm. Uh, it's not really selling it for me currently. On the other hand, it is kind of like the right color scheme. Uh, uh, I don't know, and am I buying this? Let me just see this. Oh, yeah. uh, it's a bit too much. How does this go? Uh, uh. <laughs> As you can clearly hear from my reaction, I'm not really sold on this. That white line does definitely make it a lot better though. Ah, I see myself buying this a lot easier and then mayhaps the yellow... No, 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 we can't have that. We need to, we need to stay in, in, in theme here. The white, I don't think, really comes forth anywhere in the Targaryen banner, but... <laughs> you know, there's something to be said for park aesthetics too. So, yeah. This is it. This is how we're gonna color it. This is how it's gonna be named. Let us have it open. Also, we definitely want a fix mechanic on this one, and... That should trap him in place. I don't think we need to check that, but that should definitely trap him in place. Also, <laughs> I hadn't noticed that I had actually turned off the gas <laughs> for all that time, you know. Or maybe I pressed it accidentally. Could be. Now, as for our shops and stalls, huh? We have a few new ones. I think we should start out with uh, the souvenir stall. And I think that over here is like the perfect spot to have one. So there, uh, we shall have all the souvenirs be of a yellow color. I'm not really too bothered with what they look like, or what color the umbrellas and the maps and whatnot have, so... Also, I think we've established that over here we cannot, we just cannot fit in anything, so... Don't bother looking over there. We've just placed a souvenir shop there, so over here is not an option. That means that we should... Place one more over here. Yes, and to offset this, we shall make this not grey, because <laughs> grey looks stupid. We shall make it black. There. Then I want the popcorn stall, you know, just for some food variety. And I, th I guess we could have one over here. Seeing, oh crap, seeing how there isn't much over here uh, as of yet, other than a toilet, and now, well, actually now, there is something there, but there you didn't used to be something of importance over there. Also, that seems to hook up just perfect for a stop. 
Well, that's looking rather good. Now, as for what what we're going to do next... Um, oh, we're, st we're still going to get a shop install. I guess that was already in development. However, what we're going to do next... I've kind of been given, like, a, a suggestion from a viewer, which, <laughs> you know, in, by the time that this video goes up, it's, like, more than a week old. But I really liked it, you know. And uh, what it involves is this. The, uh, no, the water coaster. I kind of like the idea he had, you know, to have this, uh, you know, to also have this one in the park. It would be seeing how we could have it, like, around here, you know, as kind of like a moat. And, uh, yeah, you know, it really sold it for me. Not, not particularly this type of ride, nor the fact that it doesn't have wooden supports, as we can see. But... I have a very cool name for it, which goes really, really well along with the whole castle theme that we have going over here. So, we shall build it, and you're looking right now at the spot where... Oh, wait. I also look at our money, and I know that we won't be able to actually... Con I, you know what? Screw it. We'll just start the construction. Um, it is not going to be underground. We're gonna be building this... No, maybe partially underground, but we're gonna build it over here. Uh, that is to make it look like... Oh crap, I should lower that as well. That is to make it look cool. Oh, you... wait, no, hold on, crap, stop, <laughs> stop the engine. <laughs> we have forgotten something. Of course, how could I? Uh, we should definitely put on the synchronize option over here. Derp, how could I forget indeed? Uh, let's see. We also need to check the timings on everything if we synchronize everything. 12 cars, uh, 80 seconds. That means that the minimum wait time on this one, should, uh, the maximum wait time should be lower to, I mean, there shouldn't be really a minimum wait time. I don't think we'll reach that anyway. We can get that to, say, like, 15. So that should make it constantly spew out uh, trains with a few backed up there, you know. Right. And we should do the same over here, of course. Set it to 15. That also gives our mechanic a 15-second interval to fix any problems. Uh, it could be tighter, but, you know, if it breaks down... So, yeah, it's looking really good, huh? Now, we do have still one big empty gap over here, but we can fill this up with coasters later. As it happens, we still have two to build over there. And wouldn't it be lovely if we also got a mine train coaster? To do that, though, I would have to set the eggheads to research that. And I will only do that once we've built these and these. So... Yeah, <laughs> you know, that, that might be a while before that actually happens. Also, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking like, if we are going to build a coaster over here, we better save some space on this path to hook them both up. That also means that certain type of coasters can't go over there. Because over here, it's, you know, this is officially full. We are not going to place anything else over here, nor hook anything else up over here. So, in terms of planning, that means that the mouse coaster has to go over here, and the wooden one has to go over here. Is that, you know, the wooden one has a little bit more options. So the mouse one has to be here. That's for later, though. Uh, we are going to be building this, the water coaster. And let me... Oh, you know what I also forgot to do? I mean, I keep forgetting stuff, you know, I'm just like, wow, yeah, amazing, all, oh, everything. Brown, there. That's the other thing that we should have done. Now, back to the, to the water coaster, and this time we are finally going to be able to build this. Uh, <laughs> because now I don't think I've forgotten anything else anymore. Somewhere, like, over here. That seems about right. Yeah, and then it's too long. All right, that's good. Now that, that that's perfect. We shall do with that. And look, this is gonna look good. If we attach it to the walls, 
Also, this has to raise. Because if we raise this, and then the exit will fit here. And the exit needs to fit there. Maybe it doesn't, actually. If we build this right, it should not have to. We are going to build it right. We always do. So, okay. So, now for this coaster, then. Um... This ain't going to be an easy one, because if we take a look at, like, the allowed uh, height, it's only 24 meters, so... This is going to be a little bit of a, well, I wouldn't say meek co <laughs> a meek coaster. <laughs> I was about to say a reek coaster. <laughs> oh, that would have been really bad. Also, I promised I would fix this. There, I fixed it. Uh, yeah, but if this ain't gonna be like your really exciting coaster as uh, Well, you know, we are kind of suffering from height issues There see see what I'm talking about height issues So to that end uh, I guess we can get away I guess we don't really have to go to uh, that side, what we can do is interfere here a little. Look, something like that, you know? And then... Now, we can only do so much with this. So, we'll have a long splash, and that will wind it, uh, you know, that will wind it down. I don't mind that too much, though. Oh, but we can't, we can't do curves on this, because we don't have trains. So, when we go up... We need. We better make sure that we mean it when we go up. Wow, we can go up quite high there. Um, I'm also looking at our money and I'm thinking like, wow, we're blowing it all pretty quickly. So if we go along with this, the way it's gonna be is that it's just gonna be, you know, up and down. Perhaps stay as close to the castle wall as possible. Up and down, up and down. That's basically it. We should consider how many water sections we want in this. I think we should aim for at least four. Four seems about right. Uh, then... Something like this. Now we should keep that tight and that will align us very well. Now we're not going to uh, have this uh, go into a water section straight away. I want this to... Oh. Uh, we should go up just one more for this, I guess. And then... Yeah, perfect. And then... Could we get away with the... Helix large up? Huh. <laughs> No, <laughs> because of cash issues. Right, what we'll do then, because obviously we'll have to wait a little bit for now. What we will do now is uh, try and hook this up. So, how difficult is that? Oh, that's actually not that difficult. We could actually stay close to the wall. Yeah. This has potential. I'm seeing it already. Let me disable the scenery for a bit here. This is... I mean, how high I... Crap, man, I can't see anything. How high are these paths that I want to connect to? We're already way higher than what we actually want to be at. Uh, we should actually... Because I believe that this one's also in the terrain. Yeah, this is gonna be an issue, is it? Definitely. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Definitely is gonna be an issue. Right, scrap this. Uh, that This is not the way we're gonna go. Um, instead, we shall go back. Rethink our first design. Go up over here. 
And now basically we can choose. Yeah, I think that's that's about right. Okay, that's looking good. Also, we have gained some money back, so now we can do that. <laughs> uh, the question is, how is this going to be continued? Yeah, that's a good question. Let me just think on this whilst the game is running a little bit. I don't want to curve around like that. So... Perhaps... No, 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 no. This is definitely gonna happen. Perhaps something like... This? We can pull this one off. That is freaking sweet. That is really sweet. It absolutely is. Oh, wow. Look at this becoming a thing of beauty, man. Yeah, it, it is. It is a thing of beauty. Uh, also, I should not forget uh, what this coaster is actually in terms of coaster type. And perhaps also try and act as if... Wait, hold on a second. What if... There is this fountain in the way, though. That would be perfect, though, if we can enter the underground here and resurface there. Sorry, Fountain, you gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I got other plans. Never mind, the Fountain is not gonna go. We shall replace it to its rightful place. I'm sorry to have moved you. <laughs> right, so we're gonna go through with this, I guess, at this point. No. A helix up small wood. No. Would still not do it. Right. Then I think it is about... Oh. Oh, that's really, really, really bad. The raven tree. That's actually a coaster we built, right? It's this one. Wait. Don't I have a fix mechanic in place for this? <laughs> oh, it's the black train, actually. Let me disable this so that I can see... I can see stuff. Yeah, it crashed over there. What happened to our fix mechanic? I'm pretty sure we had assigned one. Where are you? Are you already fixing it? I mean, obviously... Yeah, he's already fixing it. Wow, that's sad. That was just really, you know, th this comes down to poor timing, honestly. I mean, that's what it comes down to, you know. That that was a, you know, sometimes the game just uh, throws a curveball and you can't catch it. That's what happened this time, I think, because um, we had all our measures in place, yet... It still crashed, you know, and sometimes that happens. It gives you a station brake failure right as the train is about to enter the station. Boom. Even with a mechanic, like, right next to the exit, think, like, yeah, I'm going to fix it. You know, there's always this animation of the mechanic answering a radio call, and that needs to happen first, you know. So I think, yeah, no, th there's no way we could have prevented that. Anyway, um... You know, having cleared our, ourselves of any blame. <laughs> Let us see how far we can get. Oh, we can get pretty far out there, actually. That's cool. Right. Let us go up once more. I don't know how fast it will, uh, is still going at this point. So, that's a bit of an issue. This is going to be a long-ass coaster. I can tell you that much. Then a helix down large. Then a helix down small. Then one more helix down small. Never mind. Hmm. Okay, have we done the exit path? No. <laughs> Let us do that right now then. 
whilst we wait for some more money. Uh, let me see. What can I do when it comes to the exit path? I think our best bet is to hook it up through the terrain, like come round and then go up here. I think that's the best way for us to handle it. Wait, what? How low is that, that square? It's actually pretty low. I did not expect that, to be honest. Anyway, what my plan is... I don't really want to lower too much of it, so... We also don't really need to go that high, I believe. No, that is indeed true. We don't. So, this is kind of like the plan. Look and see. And then... Yes, exactly. <laughs> that was more luck than it was... Well, it wasn't really luck. It was also a bit of experience. I know, I know. You know shouldn't be cocky on my uh, three years of experience. But sometimes it actually does help. Right, okay. So, uh, do we have more money now to actually complete it? Not yet. So, what we shall then do is just place these. You know, the, these are also things that are necessary there maybe a trash can here and there yep i mean if all the benches are occupied you can always lose your vomit in the trash can i guess <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, wait let's get the view also back to normal or normal at least workable for us right so our money huh well, it's not really doing that great we kind of need some more to be honest you know what, in that case, what we will do... Ovi... Whoa... How am I ever... How am I ever going to get a castle looking thing over here? Oh well, we'll try, you know. I said I would, so we will. Right, let's see. We're gonna go along with... Oh wait... I actually need... Yeah, come on. I almost had it. There. Nice. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make a castle wall over there. So... That should be something like this. And then something like this should actually... Ah, balls! It looks ugly. Alright. Let me lower these walls then. Let me go along with these, and hopefully it will now work with these. It does. Nice. It does work. It works wonders, actually. And then we can load with those. Also, I should have made those grey. Yeah, maybe when they... That looks ugly with the terrain. Right. No, we will keep them brown as that matches better with the terrain, you know. So, my executive decision. Right, we will finish that uh, once we have actually, uh, you know, finished this coaster over here. Which we now have uh, a little bit more money to do so. So, what we are then going to do is... Um, well... Here's what I think we should do. And that is add in a water splash section. Then lower the terrain. Lower the terrain some more. And that's going to be tracked. That's going to be a tracked section. I guess we could work something out like this. Hmm, I'm not really happy with the way that's shaping up. So, I guess what we're gonna do is... We'll just add, like, a bit more water splash to it. Oh, nice. We can actually have these type of curves with the water section. And then, all we would need is one more section of straight. 
This is going to require a lot of terraforming, but I'm willing to do this. Let me first fix up the terrain there. I said fix up, not ruin it any further. <laughs> well, that's what I've been doing, but... Alright, we can get this somewhere. And then... Yes. Very nice! Look, that should make it crash-proof. Okay, so uh, with that done, uh, let us uh, test write that. And uh, I know we have like a half-finished uh, thing over there, but we'll get to that later. For now, I want this to test write. And also, what have we been... Oh, we got this. <laughs> we got the scrambler eggs. <laughs> wow, amazing. Oh, <laughs> we shall build it, but... <laughs> uh, to say that I'm impressed, nah. We shall put it over there. I think that's a great spot. So, yeah, um, about this. Uh, we are, of course, test riding it, but um, we are going to charge only five bucks. I don't expect too much of this coaster, so... Uh, you know what? We won't even test ride it. I know it will make it. I know it won't be too extreme. It has some splashes, so... Let's go straight into the naming and the, the coloring of it. And this is what really sold it, because when, you know, the the, uh, the guy commented, or I don't even know, the viewer who commented, I mean, it might be a girl. <laughs> who am I to know? <laughs> no, but he said, you know, something about this being a moat type of coaster. Well, it kind of isn't really that, but we are going to call this Moat Kaelin. That is what sold it. I was like instantly, yeah, Moat Kaelin. Definitely, and it's also part of the castle. Definitely, yeah, 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 totally, you know. I was like, yeah, man, good choice. So that's why we have this. And besides, there are some wooden supports to it. Now, to not really make this ghost stand out too much from the water, we sh or the supports at least, we shall color them like this, so you won't see it too much. And then, I guess for the tracks, I mean, Moat Kaelin is like, you know, in the middle of a swamp in the reedlands. So, if it's drudgy and dreary, definitely. I mean, it's in the neck, you know, it's the only, it's the castle on the King's Road there. What color would it be if it's like for centuries in a bog? <laughs> the only castle there, because there can't be built any other castles. I imagine that it actually looks brown and murky green. Uh, it's m maybe the other way around. Murky green and brown. I imagine that is more or less what Moat Kaelin would look like. And then black. I imagine that these are pretty solid Moat Kaelin colors. So, yeah, that's good. We got ourselves another coaster. Will the guests like it? I hope, because that crash didn't really do us very well in terms of guest count. We would have been up to 1200 by now if it wasn't for the crash. Can we see that back in our financial results, that crash? Not really, though. I mean, we, we are rocking a steady 7,000. I mean, in terms of money, we're doing pretty good. But in terms of gas, all of a sudden, it's a good thing we had a big, uh, you know, well, uh, head start. Well, not really head start, but we had an advantage on the gas count for quite a good time. And that's actually pretty good, because now we, well, you know, we can kind of like absorb one of those crashes and still not have to feel worried about actually completing this park. Speaking about which, how are we going to complete this park? That and more is something you'll find out next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.